In today's video, we're going to be talking about some more details of unlocking the latest treasure hunt in Grand Theft Auto Online. If, in case you guys missed my video yesterday, I will leave it at the end of this video. It basically gives the details on what the treasure hunt is. We're going to be collecting a stone hatchet from Red Dead Redemption 2. In my opinion, this is not the coolest thing that Rockstar could have added, but it does have a neat ability like a rampage mode, uh, and you'll be able to unlock it in RDR2 and get a cash bonus. We talk about all of that in my first video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys actually how you go about unlocking the hatchet in Grand Theft Auto Online. So there are two groups of people that I know have successfully done this. One is the Chiliad Mystery Guru. I'll leave their channel in the description. And another person who's done it is Foxy Snaps. Now, the way they have done this is they have forced the scripts in Grand Theft Auto Online. This is not available for people right now. It's not available for you and me, only people who have the ability to do sort of crazy stuff like that in Grand Theft Auto Online. Now, the way it gets started, and I mentioned this yesterday, you actually get a text message from Maud. Now, Maud is a single player character, and she gave some missions for Trevor in single player. So you get an introductory message from her that says, Hello, stranger, I interest you in some bounty hunting. We're in no short supply of those that need bringing into the bosom of the law. Just need to find them or kill them if needs be. I'll send you a file soon. And in the top left-hand corner of the screen, it says, you have received a job offer from Maud Eccles. I think that's her name, to collect bounties. Open the text message on your phone to view it and accept the job. So you sort of have to accept it, and then you will receive more messages from her. You get a new email from her that is first bounty target. And it says, hey there, ready for this? Got a tip on where this piece of, I can't read that, has been hiding. Sent you the coordinates, so get over there and capture them. This is the mugshot they've got on file. And she sends you an email with, you know, a little description of the guy. And then, obviously, a photo of what he looks like. And in the top left-hand corner, it says, you have received an email from Maud about the first bounty target. Open the email app on your phone to view it. And then it gives you a tip that says, uh, search the last known location, which is marked by a golden crosshair of the bounty target to find them. And essentially what you have to do is you have to go to the coordinates that Rockstar lists on the screen. And luckily for you, they make it very easy. Like they show you on the map, the circle in which the guy is located in. And then all you have to do is find him within that area. Now, just like the first RDR2 treasure hunt, the closer you get to the target, the louder the bells and the chimes are going to get. So once you get to the target, you will then have one or two options. Your first option is to kill the guy on sight, or you can make the person surrender by, I guess, just doing damage to them instead of killing them, and you can bring them back to mod for a little bit of an extra reward. So it almost seems as if there's two different routes you can take here. There's a quick route, and then there's a more money route. So that is kind of nice that Rockstar actually give you the option to do both. So that's the first bounty. Once you complete the first bounty, you will have to do a second one, a third one, a fourth one, and then a final bounty. And once you complete all five bounties, you will then get a text from Mod saying that you can now go collect the treasure. You'll get a notification on the top left-hand corner of the screen that says the target secret stash which is a gold treasure box, has been revealed. Go there to unlock the chest and collect your reward. And then Mod said, Honey, that's my list of reprobates been crossed off. Guess I can watch TV in peace for a while. One more thing that might be of interest though, the last jumper had a stash spot. Sent you the coordinates for it just now. Call it a tip, huh? And then on the map, you will actually see a location of the treasure. Now, on both instances for Foxy Snaps and the Chiliad Guru, it has been in this abandoned bus in Sandy Shores. So I'm not sure if it's going to be located uh, there for other people as well, or if it's going to be in a completely different spot. But anyways, it's that simple, and that is pretty much how it is done. So essentially, to make a long story short, whenever Rockstar release these scripts into the game and make it available for everyone, you'll get a text from Mod. You'll basically have to find and kill five people or return them to her. And then you will get a location for the treasure chest and the hatchet. 
Now, a couple of other things as well. There are 20 possible bounties that you could get. Mod is going to give you five of them. And then once you actually get the hatchet, all you have to do is get 25 kills with it to unlock $250,000 and get exclusive access to the weapon in Red Dead Redemption 2. So pretty simple, very straightforward. Doesn't seem as if it requires a lot of work or forethought or anything like that. In fact, I think this one's honestly gonna be easier than the first one because finding those tiny pieces of paper stuck to like light poles and stuff like that was kind of challenging. With this, it's like you get a clear description of what the guy looks like and you have to go kill him. So I think that's gonna be pretty straightforward and that is the lost relic that we are going to be unlocking in the latest treasure hunt. So that's how you solve it. Uh, when it is made available to everyone, I will make my own video on this. Uh, but for now, that's pretty much how you do it. Once again, just like the first Red Dead Redemption 2 treasure hunt, it is going to be a little bit different for everyone in terms of the bounties you get. So they might not necessarily be in the same locations or places. But at the end of the day, very simple very straightforward. But anyways, that's all the information that I'm going to be talking about for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. What do you think of Rockstar's choice for the stone hatchet as the weapon they've added? I don't know about you guys. I'm a little bit disappointed. I would have loved something, you know, different, like a, an exclusive article of clothing, maybe like a really cool weapon, like some shotgun or something like that. I don't know. I, I just feel like a stone hatchet was a little bit like, meh, like I'm never going to use that. I'm just going to get the 25 kills with it to get my money and get it in RDR2. And I'm literally never going to pull it out of my weapon wheel again. But I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Let me know what you think on this and more. If you did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.